to really progress much more through our mission tree, we're going to need to wait on a couple of truces. We need to eat up Sicily here in uh, southern Italy and the Nisrids over here in Egypt uh, to really start pushing through more of our missions. So it looks like today is going to be an economic management day. So I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day. And uh, welcome back to Antebellum as uh, East Rome. I hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign. Please make sure you leave a like on the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Because uh, there is plenty of content to uh, look forward to if you guys have not already. So we are neck and neck with these guys. We are actually right now in first place. Let's take a look here. Oh, baby. If if it spawned right now, we would spawn global trade. But uh, you can trust that these guys are colonizing the crap out of the New World. Andalusia is an absolute monster when it comes to colonization. And it looks like Albion actually rushed through it as well. So, uh, yeah, plenty of that to come. So that is something we are going to have to be mindful of. That means the, 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 the money within their node is going to just be exponentially going up. So what I'm doing right now is I'm waiting until the new year to take these techs. No reason to take them ahead of time. And uh, we are going to simultaneously be investing in more um, trade steering and, and whatnot. So we need to upgrade these centers of trade over here. Now take a look. That will increase our trade power in this node. Uh, sure, I'll take that. We're working on a mill idea group. But see, and now you can see we're up to 7%. I have no provinces in this node. I don't have a single province in that node. Isn't that crazy? Rum area gets culture conversion cost. I don't know if I need that, but uh, let's see here. Sure, we'll culture convert. Yep, Greek is definitely taken over. <laughs> Feels good, man. So, yep, let's do a little bit of manpower deving as well. Especially in provinces. So, first of all, oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's put you on dev cost and let's do a couple of clicks here. Uh-huh. There you go. And that will allow us to dev more production into these provinces as well. Keep on converting, of course. Look how pious we are. We're incredibly pious. Make sure we are also upgrading our centers of trade every time we are able to. That is more trade that we are being able to steer here. And then hopefully what we can do is once we get these guys converted over here, we will be able to add them to the trade center. Are we converting all three of these? No, just these two. Interesting. Okay, but either way, we're going to be able to add these guys to the center of, or to a trade company down here in uh, Egypt and then uh, steer more trade from Persia, which is going to be really good. Rebels in Croatia. Really? Yeah, I don't think so, homie. Let's, uh, let's handle that. Now, it is the early tick, so take all three ticks, be ahead, get that 20% production and 20% trade efficiency for being ahead on admin and diplo, respectively. Upgrade our infantry. Um, sure. Offensive is fine with me. And uh, we are getting these boys converted. Now, where else am I converting right now? Okarak. So that one will get converted and then we'll be able to start working on this province down here. Croatian separatists have fired. Look at that unrest or the devastation over here, man. That's crazy. We're definitely going to need to develop that to uh, get that uh, <laughs> devastation down over here. We need to, uh, I believe, what is this? I can preemptively start working on this. This grainy, the Medi granary of the Mediterranean. Each province in these two areas need to have at least 10 production dev, which is really a lot, but that's okay. Let's uh, put you guys on development. Get you guys as close to 10 as possible here. There you go. That one's already at 10, and then this one needs up as well. So there's a few of them you guys over here these guys are already in the trade company so that's fine uh-huh and we need to also make sure we are upgrading these still very good but yeah look at this already eight percent and i'm not even touching it i have no men over here so as you can see here the more that we invest in this node the more that it's going to keep going up here see these guys are still inching up so you can't just expect that you're going to spawn it because there is no guarantees here so our truce with Sicily will be up when? 85, so two years. So let's get the army over here. Because we're going to need to attack them. They're not allied to anybody I care about. We're probably going to full annex them out of here. Uh, Salerno. I could attack them right now if I wanted to. I don't have a CB on them. I didn't get a claim, really. No, That's okay. Either way. No big deal. So when exactly is that truce up with them? Uh, 
here this one here sicily is november of 85 so we got plenty of time to worry about that and let's see here so this one steers into crimea correct aleppo ah right so the more power we get there the better okay So I'm going to, I think I might regret this, but we're going to unstate this and add these two provinces into the center of trade there. Let's see here. The Levant. Okay. So let's also pull this state here and add Aleppo. And that will give us an extra merchant as well. All right. We have some rebels over here. So let's handle that. That will allow us to steer from Persia. Take a look at this. We're up to 50%, 50 trade power, and I have no provinces in that node. Look at that. 43.5. We are now head and shoulders above those guys. And that money is more money that we can spend on, uh, you know, investing into trade companies, right? So if I come over here and I say, hey, you know, let's uh, get a little more trade power. That gives us even more downstream. So 3.65, even though I didn't touch this node, will turn into 3.76. And each time you do this, it just gives you more and more and more. This is why it's totally fine to just take out loans to do this. Yeah, it costs um, a couple of things like trade efficiency and whatnot, but who really cares? And the big scheme of things, is that does that matter? Because I don't think it matters literally at all. So let's get this guy built over here. We'll need to build one in Aleppo as well. And uh, this guy down here has been converted. Not here yet. This one is eventually as well. QQ is claiming my lands. Oh, no. Anyways, <laughs> let's see here. Now, you can. Like, this over here is fine. We can state up areas in pro in uh, states that have don't have any trade centers in them. You don't have to, but you can. Like, I don't want to state up these two states, but I can state up basically every other state except for Benghazi if you wanted to or uh, this one down here. Now, in the next war with these guys, we're going to take as much of Egypt as we possibly can. I doubt we'll be able to take it all in one war, though. And how far off are we? November of next year. So we got some time. Let's get some spy network on them. It's a nice day to have spy network on somebody you're going to war with. Looks like these guys. Oh, yeah. I'll take the mana. We're already at three stability. That's a nice thing. Oh, nice. Yep. The nice thing about the States General is that you basically don't ever lose stability from your monarchs dying and whatnot, right? Really solid. Bosnian Separatists, huh? Right. Okay. Well, let's have these guys see if we can just suppress them. How much do they have there? 15! Because we're converting it? Yeah. Just increase that right there. And then I'm going to do a little trick where you just snake that. Now, hopefully you, that will prevent them from just firing in general. You just kind of do one of those guys there. So now it's only, yeah, 1% chance that it even fires. So it may not fire at all, especially considering the fact that the missionary will be done there within the next, you know, year or so, right? Does it say when you hover over here? There you go. 8% per month. So yeah, we're making really good progress there. Build a couple more trade buildings here. This one is, we can't because of the... Uh, Okay, build one there for sure. This one here as well. This just makes it so you get a little more bang for buck. And I should probably start paying off my loans just so we can get out of the debt and we don't have to worry about our inflation growth anymore. We're making really good money now. Now look at that, 45.7. Absolutely incredible. This province here will be done very soon. We'll be able to trade company this. I can actually upgrade you and I could actually upgrade it twice if I wanted to I'm very tempted to because that's a lot of trade power that uh, we could be steering into our node there and remember that's more more trade power here which means more trade power here which means more trade power here the more trade power you have look at this 22 percent I have no trade power in Persia directly trade steering is so strong do not underestimate trade steering just as Sicily is over and uh you know obviously Deus Volt and all that nobody is going to join his war so Let's uh, head on down then. And we'll just get you guys full occupied here. Just like that. They have no forts over here. So we'll, re we'll repay the loans that we're able to right now. 
Obviously, we can't repay many of them, but all is well. Let's have you guys head through here. Can I get mill access, please? You know what? Actually, the best way to get mill access is to actually just, uh, you know, declare war on them. I probably need to upgrade my ship soon, so we'll do that. So let's attack these guys. They'll call in Sardinia. I don't have a true uh, claim on them, unfortunate. All right. Let's get you guys over here then onto his capital fort. Looks like he deleted the fort over here. So yeah, they have no forts left. So these guys are done, basically. That's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. So we'll do one of these guys here. There you go. And we'll get a claim on them. I don't really need that anymore, but this is okay. We have claims on these guys. So what we can do here is we can sabotage his recruitment. No, slander his merchants. Eh. We could support some rebels. They have a lot of unrest. So what you do is you find the one that's going to give them the most, the most trouble. Oh, shoot. We're going to take out a loan here. Say psych right now. I'll uh, buy down that base tax because obviously if I haven't proven that uh, we are a production and trade based economy yet and not a tax based economy, I don't know what to tell you guys. And there we go. So they're still, oh my gosh, they're at negative three stability. All right. The Nizrids are falling. They're bankrupt. And they have a loan, just one, but they're bankrupt, which is great because our truce with them is not going to be that much longer, right? 95. Ah, so it's going to be a long time. But anyways, we can support rebels. So I will. That will give them extra unrest in those 54 provinces. They're not unrest, but you can see here their, their national unrest is really high right now, which is great. Very good. Very good. Have we converted this? We have. So let's unstate you. We're going to add all three of these guys to the trade center. Or the, the trade company, I mean. I always misspeak when I say that. And then upgrade you. Oh, I'm at war. Right, right, right. But you can see now. We're going to get an extra merchant as well. And we can steer from Crimea. Which obviously we will. So I will also unstate you and I will add you to the trade company. And then just like that, we're going to go from 46.5 up to 49.2. See how much our economy we have now. We have now nine ducats more. And remember, we are making uh, based on this, we're making 153% of what we're actually collecting. So of so the, the math, the way it works out in a very like quick and dirty way. There's 49.2 ducats in this node. We are collecting 97% of that 49.2%. We're actually making 74 ducats, which is more nodes than a, more money than is actually in there because we have an additive 53% on top of that. So we are making 93, 90. Okay. So basically you take 97% of 49.2 times it by that and then add it to this. So we're making like 140 some percent of the money that's in here. And that's, if you do the math on that, that ends up being roughly 75. So that's, that's how that works. And you can kind of do some quick math to figure out that that is it. So that's how you make as much money from trade as possible. Look at this. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. We are so rich. Oh, sweet. Yes. Reform the army. We're working on a mill idea group. So the sooner you take it, the better. And uh, obviously we want to do some more development over here. So let's do more development over here, especially in the cloth provinces. Um, I'll do a little bit of tax dev if it means I can. Let's put you guys over here on development cost as well. And I bet we have prosperity as well. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of prosperity. The prosperity is not to be underestimated. Uh, we don't need you guys anymore on that. We might now get the pentarchy. Very good. So we have six missionaries and we can't do any use any of them because whatever we can convert, we have converted. Incredible. We just need to get a claim on these boys over here and we will attack them soon as well. Money for burger loyalty. I don't think we need that. Yeah, this is fine. As long, we're not going to dev anymore for a moment, so we're good. Right, let's uh, unstate you. Now, Crimea has a center of trade over here. Yep, and so whenever this war is over, we'll be able to um, 
kind of figure out where we want to go here. So these guys are trying to take what? Salento? Where's Salento? Who are you attacking? Genoese conquest of Bizert. Oh, they're taking land down there. Right. I forgot about those. This land down here. Let's uh, get on down there. They got 7,000 7, men running around down there. I don't know what they're doing, but... Easy peasy, baby. Yep. And just like that, we'll, you know, blockade his navy as well. This is so easy. Yeah, we'll pay off the loans now. Now that we've all but assured that in 13 years we're going to spawn global trade, I don't really care about it anymore. There you go. Now, because I don't actually care about Sicily, I don't need any land over here. Though this uh, Malta fort is pretty good. War score cost for Southern Religion is really good. All right, they just peaced out. And they released, they gave Tunis to Genoa. <laughs> oh, so good. I love that. <laughs> Genoa is now the owner of Tunis. Let's uh, teleport our general over there. Have you guys come on over here. Get you guys over here. Now uh, we have mill access over here, so I suppose we should uh, occupy them over here. Now, for some reason, his capital is right here instead of being over here where it is. Wait a minute. Is this a different tag? Oh, that's a different tag. Is that a subject? What am I doing? No, we're good. Ignore the, ignore me. I'm being dumb. The, the same color was throwing me off. But yeah, his, this is a level three fourth then, yeah? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's uh, detach you and then come on over here and blockade. Now in this war, I'm going to wait till I get a claim on these guys so I can take that. Because all I really need... Is this mission right here? Um, where are we at here? Right, foothold in Italy, the land landfall in Italy, which is to have all of this, which we can do quite easily. Yep. Man, my growth in these guys is really slow for trade power. Repay some loans, extend the rest, I guess. No big deal. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Fifty-one ducats a month, forty, thirty-seven point eight. So safe to say we're in a good spot. One more month, I'll be able to declare on these guys. So let's get a general on you. Let's have you guys on the boats. We're going to have to come and siege these guys down as well. Get a claim on you. Recall you. We don't need you anymore either. Let's, a let's attack this Calab Salerno. Pope Man will join them. Oh, no. Anyways, where's Pope Man even at? Yeah, okay. Something tells me I don't need to worry about you. So let's get on over here. Let's have you guys come on over here. And land some men over here. No general, no problem. Who cares? Now, Pope Man being in the war is probably going to be a little annoying, but it's fine. I went in with no general, which is kind of my own issue, but it's fine. Take the cannons and put them over here. There you go. That's how you win a, win a war real quick, huh? There you go. We are now finished. 15% morale of armies. Artillery damage from the back row. Missionaries plus missionary maintenance costs. Well, geez, oh, Pete, man. I don't think we need the extra missionary, but if we need them later on, we can take that. Now, we can uh, integrate our subjects here. I don't really need to integrate these guys, to be honest. Neither of them have claims, though, so that'll be more useful later on. But all I want is all of this and then like Malta. Yeah, that's fine. Then I'll take all your money and just like that, we're basically done. So I will yoink the dev from over here because we need to get more development in our capital. Let's put you guys on no edict, put you guys on no edict. And all that money we're taking, we can use it to repay more loans. And just like that, we're almost out of debt. I will convert these guys first, which is a nice little trick you can do. It uh, makes it so there's less unrest, so you're less likely to have rebels in those areas. Now, these guys... Uh, yeah, it's going to be annoying. Because basically, we're going to have to siege down the Pope in order to peace out of that war. Which is super dumb, but, you know, it is what it is. Though, let's see here. We might be able to peace it out soon. Yeah. There you go. Um, can you please get on the boats? Come on over here. Thank you. Have these boys grouped up. There we go. Let's upgrade the ships when we have the money. Because, uh, you know, 
We should do that. How's culture conversions looking? Oh, baby. That is a beefy Greek state, huh? You love to see it happen, folks. Now, yep, it's just us and Pope. So until Pope man wants to peace out, or if these guys just get enough war exhaustion and they're willing to peace out, you know, it'll, it'll come in time. Because I doubt the Pope is going to march men all the way over here. Let's upgrade our ships here. Now, these guys should probably come up to a province where they're not taking attrition. That would be more appropriate. And just like that, these provinces that just got converted, we're going to have significantly less unrest. Look at this. They have no unrest, actually, which is hilarious. And I'll do the same thing. Let's core up all what we can. But look at this. No more unrest in these provinces. These provinces we can't convert because they have... Um... Oh, wait, no. Yeah. This one's Shia, right? They have some unrest over here. Got some rebels. Let's go handle them. There's a fort there, so you don't actually have to worry about it. There you go. Not bad at all, huh? A workshop in uh, this province here. I thought that I did that already, but apparently I did not. So let's build that. Get rid of the church and replace it with a workshop. Workers of the world unite and rise up, right? Honk, honk. So, um... These guys are still absolutely just getting clapped. In five years, we'll be able to attack them again and 100% them. So the noble rebels have risen up. Now, where's their capital at? It's not Cairo. It's not Benghazi. Where is their capital at, huh? Fayum, right next to the, the big old alligator. Very cool. Yep, as we get these provinces converted. Yeah, look at that. Even the Levant is getting converted culturally. Aleppo's almost done, which is nice, because I'll actually be able to build a... Um, a whatchamacallit there. A trade thing. Let's uh, build those guys there. That'll help us steer a bit more trade. More trade is better, right? The more upgrades you can get, the better. You can pay off your loans as you go as well. Like I said, there's no reason to worry about them. A half-off trade efficiency guy? You had me. You are... I am so sold... Look at that. An extra 10% trade income. And he's half off. It's just like, does it get much better than this? This guy's half off as well, yeah? He is. So all three of my advisors are half off. That is pretty nice. Let's upgrade you. And to be honest with you, I don't really need this, so I shouldn't have put that on there. But it is what it is. All right. Now, where are we at? We have this one here. The Imperial Ministries, which gives us mana, state maintenance, and advisor's costs. Very good. Speaking of, we could totally upgrade these guys and get more advisor costs. And I should do that. Now, I also need to upgrade Jerusalem. The sooner we do that, the better. Restore the Holy City is a permanent modifier. So that's really good for us. We are now maxed out on that. So I suppose we'll just take it. No big deal. Some mills. Oh, gosh. Are you kidding me, bro? Mills? Okay, we can't be doing this, though. We need to uh, we need to be getting more crown land. So let's take that. That will allow us to get another mission there. Which is this one, which gives us a bunch of permanent claims of land that I've already taken because I'm a dingus, but unlocks the Settle the South Italy with Greeks decision. Which, um, you settle Southern Italy with Greeks, which will culture convert it all for us. Very good for Diplomana. That's totally worth it. Right there and there. Magna Gratia has been united. March on Rome, the Reclamation of Rome events, and we get permanent claim on Northern Italy. The Reclamation of Rome, we will gain an extra Diplo mana, which is, uh, doesn't do anything for us, but every Orthodox country in the world will gain trust with us, and we will get Conqueror of Rome for until our leader's death. And our leader's good. He even got 10% trade efficiency as well. We also get Restore the Pentarchy here, which gives us Patriarch Authority, which gives us missionary strength and tolerance of the true faith for the rest of the game. <laughs> as well as disables the papacy and uh, gives us some prestige and legitimacy. Very good stuff. Let's yoink that. We need to get up to 60 ASAP. Um, though being ahead of time on tech means we're going to be able to develop a bit as well. And now we're ahead and we're done with our idea group. So we can really start pumping those out, which is going to be good for us. Absolutely incredible. Now, we got mills done, so take a look at this. Uh, yeah, we have a few more... Wait a minute. Oh, that wasn't mills? Which one was that that I just unlocked? Uh, which one was that that we just unlocked here? Buildings. A mill. Is a mill not for this? 
Textile manufacturing. Oh, a mill is for probably grain and whatnot, right? Let's see here. What, what do you build here? Is it a mill? Farm estate. Which one is the mill for? Am I being dumb? This is a plantation. No textile manufacturing. Mill is for paper. Ah, uh, we only have one paper province. Did we not have one here? I was thinking this province was paper, but I suppose I'm wrong. That's okay. No big deal. Now, what do I need for you? Mill. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we definitely want to get that. So let's build a mill on Constantinople. And then we'll build one over here in um, this province here. More paper goods produced is solid. Paper is a very, very good uh, trade good. So always good to have paper stacked up. Paper development, rather. 40, 49. So, yep, we're still very competitive here. We are steering quite a bit of trade. We definitely need to be getting a bit more trade over here. So it looks like it is about that time that we started thinking about uh, conquering our neighbors here. So we could full annex QQ. Yep. So let's attack these guys and we will co-belligerent QQ. Persia will join. Guaranteed. Ah, interesting. Okay. Well, I suppose that's fine then. I won't call in Persia, though. No need to. Let's have you guys head over here. And then have you guys head over... Well, no, no, no. Yeah, we're good. My subjects will handle that. So let's have Georgia siege you guys down. And then uh, we'll core that all up because it's all been converted. And just like that, there's no unrest in this area. Look at that. None. And um, as much as I need to upgrade... I have so many things I need to upgrade. We need more money. More money. All right, lads. Well, that is a great place to call it. Uh, we we did a bit of conquest here. We're going to be attack, able to attack the Nizrids in the next episode. And hopefully we can start working on getting a few of these things upgraded. Namely, the Parthenon. The Holy City of Jerusalem, which is much cheaper now to upgrade. And then uh, this one here would give us some governing government capacity, which we could use in all honesty. Or the reform progress. This doesn't give... It does give flat governing capacity. Okay. That's not bad. The Doge's Palace gives gov reform growth, which is nice because we're very close to La Tassamoa, which will give us a bunch more. Hmm. So many options. So many options. The Theodosian Walls give us a uh, extra fort level, garrison growth, cost of reducing war exhaustion, and uh, very good. Have the country flag has completed the Theodosian Walls mission. Okay, if you guys are enjoying, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ding the bell. Nice little hiccup there. Join the Discord, subreddit, the Twitter. They're all linked in the description below. And uh, support me on Patreon if you are a true Chad. You can become a chimp. That is a Chewy Simp. I appreciate you, boys. And uh, follow me over at uh, twitch.tv slash Chewy Shoot if you want some more uh, weekly streams. Plenty of content you're missing out on if you are not following over there. And that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.